It doesn't sink, Brent. You got it. Is it working? It's working. Have you ever seen Back to the Future? It's really bright right now, but yesterday, you guys saw this. Or we stacking them on top of each other like that. Hey guys, how's it going? This is this is where we're building a pond. Ah. Ah. that wooden. Right. Oh, yeah, Chris. Stability. We're moving down, boys. Uh. This is a uh, this is a commit. Basically, the concept right now is Hey Colt, what is on your pants right there? Did you get dirty? Like, you got your phone in your... Oh, sorry, dude. We got a... I can't see. We're putting fish in here. So, a fish you guys know really well on the channel is going to go in there today. Uh, we also got to do some other stuff and all that. But, uh, yeah, let's let's do it. Okay, we've got a large fish in here. It's a, it's a big one. And I'm taking it out because we're doing stuff to this pond. I want to be able to watch over that fish uh, really well. Because those things are, like, rare. So, we, now we got to catch it. Whoa. Oh, bro, oh, oh, look at that. Don't fight it. Don't, don't fight. Bro, there's a hole in there. It's a terrible idea. I just dried off. Use the net. Use the net. Got him. I got him. Okay. Here we go, buddy. Oh, my God. Wow. That's a success. Let's go down the road. All right, we'll take a look at this man. That is a big freaking bass. Well, we are uh, cutting some of the excess liner. It's exactly 628 gallons, which to me is fantastic. That's that's great, because we can do a lot of stuff with this. Comment what we should do over there. We've had ideas, but you guys always have better ideas than us. Chris! Chris! <laughs> I've never seen you move that fast. I know, it's a different home. Don't even... Oh, how? Dude, he is strong. There he goes. All right, dude. Look at you. This fish is going to be living lavish, bro. He's going to get so much food. It's basically like a little feeding factory. Oh, oh okay. I got a bag of rocks. Close Just like that. Okay. Go. All right. You ready? Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, well, we are washing some rocks off. We got a lot of stuff going into this. This thing's gonna be dope. Nope, doesn't work. Best 88 cent scissors I've ever bought. Plug the hole, put the hole inside here. This goes down. <laughs> we tried to be informational for one time. Okay. That's why we're not an educational channel. Exactly. But we're gonna set this in here and then slide this down. There, that fits. That's a snug, Perfect. snug fit. There we go. That was quite weird, Brenton. <laughs> like seriously <laughs> weird. Perfect. Dude, this is like a freaking like, dude. There's no filter better than this. Exactly. Except for every single one you could buy online, but that doesn't I matter. Bro, that is a filter if I've ever seen one. Is it gonna work? Absolutely not. But that's not the point. It doesn't sink, Brenton. You got it. Is it working? It's working. Have you ever seen Back to the Future? Here we go. Here we go. Oh! What we have is the filter box right here, sucking water in through all of our filtration and spraying it out this hose right here. And Brenton's getting this all wet. All right. So we got the pond done, that's good, we're chilling. The next thing is, is I really don't want this bass to jump out because that would suck after everything we've done. So we've got to get a net, so that's gonna go on top. Hook it on right there, dude. Look at that. Can you can you even see it on the camera that well? Probably because there's there's water droplets in here, but like, well, dude, during the daytime you can't see. This yeah, dirt like when the light's shining on us uh -huh. during the day, bro, can't even see it, not even the slightest, and that prevents animals from getting in here, things from falling in here, so it's always gonna stay extremely clean, and the fish can't jump out. Great, like little DIY pond, 100. percent Absolutely, and Brenton can't drown. All right, so it's basically it's salt. It's like aquarium salt, which is really good for the fish. So we put that in, but there. All right, you ready to do this, Chris? Camera's <laughs> like four pieces. Oh, that was supposed to happen. You guys don't understand. My camera just went like 30 feet into a wall. Ooh, that was not the plan for that to happen. I've I've got to show you guys these things. TikTok has completely changed my life. Take it, take a gander at this. 
Bro, dude, it, it first started with the pool noodles, and now it's a ball. Like, I could so imagine Steven, like, love, like, dude, he would headbutt a ball all day. That or be terrified of it. That's why we have it, so we're gonna try. But, yeah, so, let's do that. I'm just gonna roll it towards the alpacas. Oh! <laughs> They're gone forever. Dude. You are the cutest little goat I've ever seen. Where are you guys going? Why are they leaving me? <laughs> what the heck? Steven? Steven? No, you have no balls. Whoa! Whoa! You better settle it down, Pickle Boots. Dude, Pickle Boots came in hot, bro. Wait, Whoa! What? Where are they going? Ah! Oh my gosh, guys, chill. I got the ball. Steven? Steven? Whoa! Steven. Whoa! Whoa, Steven. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <sighs> He saw the ball! He saw the ball! Ah! I watched a video of goats playing with an exercise ball, and I'm trying to get them to do it, but so far they're just confused by it. Steven! I don't even have to throw the ball at them. I'll just run with the ball and watch them just fall. They do not like the ball. Bro, uh. I don't understand. He probably doesn't like the ball. Maybe because he got his balls cut off, but I don't know. Maybe it's not, it's not a thing for him anymore. They're all on the other side of this. I'm just going to pop on the top and it's going to fall over and just watch them. Here we go. Get ready. Here we go. Oh, great. Steven sizing you up, bro. He's about to head punch you. It's not like they're scared of it because, like, they'll come investigate it, but they want to, like, play with it. Yeah. Like, they want to play a tag or something. Well, we'll leave it back here for them to play with. They'll get yeah. used to it. God, it's a strong mini goat. I can, tell, I can tell you that. Come on, guys. Waddles. Look at him. Here he comes. Waddles. Hey, guys. What's going on, bro? Hey. You've been digging in the dirt. Okay. Yep. All right. I'm going to wipe that off on you. Little mini pig. Hey, Chad. What's going on? There's the chickens just waiting to get taken by a bobcat. That's on you. If that happens, that's not my fault. You guys chose that place. I have not put Steven up here yet. I ha I've seen Oreo and Pickle Boots up there, though. I've got to make a ramp. Make a ramp. If you guys don't know, we've been building the animals a treehouse. Hello, sir. How are you? Oh, oh, this is a terrible idea. Oh, oh, God. I have no idea how you're going to get down, but it, it obviously can hold something. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? I'm not trying to say anything. You want me to RKO you from up here? Here? You gotta be kidding me! How did he do it? Oh god, the tree's about to come down. Okay, all right, so you guys may know, if you didn't watch the last video, we found a bird that was hurt, and uh, it fell from the tree. He's in here. Cleaning off my clack, and I heard a big thud, and I was like, oh my god, my man's fell from the sky, and I went to go see him, picked him up. This is Carol. Hi, Carol. As in Baskin? Yeah, as, as in Carol Baskin. Look, it's straight up just perching on my finger. I am a bird whisperer. Whisper some sweet nothings into its ear. We're gonna cook you. All right, so we're gonna, actually, we're making a road trip. Oh, don't don't try and fly, sir. Just sit right there, because I've got your uh, syringe for your food. This is what we got for him. This is a blueberry inside of here. A blueberry? He loves blueberries. I know, I know, we gotta get it in your mouth. You need a little bit more, homie. There we go, bro. Watch, it. Now, then he starts to swallow it. All right, all right, so. You know how to teach him to fly? Hey, yeah, chuck him. We're gonna take him up to a rescue center, one of the only ones that is open, and it's a ways. Hey! Sir, Carol. Carol, I wouldn't. Carol, I would not go, I in. go in there. Carol, you will die a slow, painful death of <laughs> of Craig feet. Carol's uh, Carol's all good. Almost got trampled. The gate's open. Sometimes I feel like we're running a circus. Oh my gosh. We what? had an issue. What? I didn't even see him get out. Gosh dang it. Bro, he is a ninja alpaca. He is out trying to wrangle some wild alpacas. And they are dangerous creatures. They're gonna eat you. Look at you. Look at you, Craig. You want a bite, Craig? Give me some sugar. Let me know some good fish to put in here. Because we're over at Chris's house, by the way. This is it's about to be his one year on YouTube, which is insane. Uh, that's absolutely crazy. And he's about to hit 20,000 subscribers. So obviously his link is always in my description. So go get him there. But no, we're in his backyard right now, which he's down the street from me. But let us know some things we can do on that side. Like, Sorry for making noise, but I'm trying to mix up the salt. Uh, gotcha. Oh, oh sorry. Sorry, Joey. <laughs> With that being said, hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and I will catch you guys on that next episode of Fanatic. Peace.